It's my favorite time of the month. Time to give a special shout out to the most generous people on the planet. The people at the Fabled Survivor tier. You can join the Fabled Survivor tier on YouTube or Patreon. Links are in the description. It amazes me how much you guys do for us month in, month out. We really appreciate it. Me, Sylvie, and Autumn love you all very much. You people rock. Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to No One Survived. You know, when I was doing the Horde Night, I was kind of thinking to myself, actually, it wasn't when I was doing the Horde Night. It was when I was editing the footage. I was kind of thinking I might have this whole base set up wrong. I mean, not the whole base set up, but I think I have a, I think I have a key part of this wrong. And can anybody tell me in the comment section right now what I'm doing wrong with this base setup? Some of you already said it last video. So I'm wondering who, who can see what's wrong here. And I'm going to give you a hint. This part right here really opened my eyes. So I uh, go ahead and tell me in the comments. I'll give you three seconds. Don't tell me afterwards. I'll know when you're lying. I always know. Three, two, one. All right. I think we need to put mechanical traps in front of the barbed wire, not behind it. Because all these zombies are sitting here getting caught in this spot last horde night. And if I just had a couple traps here, they don't seem to go after the traps. They seem to go after the barbed wire. So I think we want to... I'm not going to move traps out because this, this setup is working. I don't like to fix something that's not broken. But I think we could do it better. And when, when the horde came from this side last horde night... And I didn't even see what happened. I think this I think this blade trap just tore me pieces. And they got stuck on the barbed wire and got destroyed by the blade trap. I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. So we um we're not gonna be doing a building episode today for the horde base. I'm, I want it to be its own episode, but I'm just giving you my thought process on uh what I want to do moving forward. Now I also talked about the refrigerator last episode, and some people were like, ah, oh, the fridge is okay. Um, but somebody said, can anyone confirm this? Can you guys confirm this either way? Yes, no, maybe so. In the comment section, somebody said fridges do not increase the shelf life of canned food. Is that true? Because if that's true, I don't see the point of fridges in any way, shape, or form. Like, why would I want a fridge? I guess if I kill an animal, maybe, but I can always I can always smoke the meat. Like, meat lasts three days. If I smoke it, it lasts 15 is putting it in the fridge going to put it up to 15? Because if it is, then maybe it'll be good. But I don't know, man. Um, I can keep my all my stuff in here growing indefinitely as long as they have water. So I don't see what the point of the fridge would be. Everything I'm dealing with is canned food. So if it doesn't help canned food, I'm, I'm probably going to make the fridge. I might even do it today. But, um, man, if it doesn't do anything, that's going to that's gonna be awful. These guys need food. I'm not doing a good job of keeping these... Numb nuts fed. That's okay. They'll be all right. There we go. That thing's got plenty of water. I will give them some more food. And we will go on with what we're doing today. What I want to do today, I want to finish the exterior of the base. I've got some really cool building ideas on what I want to do inside the base, but I can't do it until the exterior is finished. Okay. Also, I'm going to check on water here really quick. Uh, yeah, we're doing good on water. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to finish the exterior of the base and we're going to do it right now. I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. Is this too dark in here? Yeah, it's pretty good. We'll save some, we'll save some electricity. Why not? Why not? Is there any room in here? Yeah, there's a little, uh, actually, can I fit any more boards in there? No, I can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what I got. We're going to go upstairs and we are going to just build, build and build. I want to work on the bedroom today. Honestly, if I can get my walk-in closet completed today, I would consider this a great day. We'll just have to see how it goes, though. All right. So, do I have anything on me? Oh, I, I don't have anything on me. Let's go downstairs and get some stuff. And right over here. Looking good. I don't think I'm going to need any um, logs moving forward. Although, I could be wrong about... Wait, what the... What's weighing me down? Oh, okay. I had more boards on me. I didn't even notice. Um, I don't think I'm going to need logs for today's bill. I, I may need it for some things, but I've got a lot of logs still, like, ready to go. So it shouldn't be a problem if I do need more. Uh, and that's it for that. So let's just, um, again, can we please get a take all button? Pretty please with sugar on top, a take all button. Okay, I'm just going to take everything. Better take everything I can. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold, hold your horses. I didn't decide where I'm going to put windows. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. 
I think this would be a perfect spot for a window. Uh, maybe even two windows. I won't put any windows over there, so those we can finish. But, oops. Careful. We can definitely finish all those. Yeah, that's not going to be a window. But this will be, which means I just wasted eight planks. Oh, did they fall? Is it because I didn't finish it? Oh, so you get it back if you don't finish it. Okay, I mean, all right, that's cool. Appreciate that. All right, window, window. Beautiful, still can't move. Uh, no window, no window. Oops. And do I want a window here or no? Actually, it looks like it might be a good spot for a window. Let's go ahead and break it out. I didn't put anything in there, so that's cool. And what am I doing? Middle mouse button, okay. <laughs> There we go. All right, cool. So now I have to decide where the windows are going to go. I need to put in a floor here. And a floor here. Those are going the correct way. Yes, they are. All right, just dumping sticks in there. And let's figure out where we want to put the windows. That's going to be the next thing. The only thing that stinks about this whole setup is that I can't have any windows in my bedroom. Because you can't make way I can't make windows like here. So it's a bit of a bummer. But I mean, the other thing I could do is one of these is gonna be my bedroom, one is gonna be a walk-in closet. I can always make the bedroom here and put the walk-in closet above. How important is it to me have windows in my bedroom? Honestly, it's kind of important. And yeah, this isn't gonna be big enough for a walk-in closet. The walk-in closet's gonna be pretty ginormous. Uh, let me take a look, because it's going to be yeah, full of these. And gee, let's see if we can put these. And I can put them back a little bit. Well, how big does a walk-in closet really need to be? I want it really big. <laughs> all right, whatever. I'm going to make a decision when I come back. I'll know what I'm going to be doing. Well, I got it all figured out. And I'm going to carry as many of these boards as I can. Yep, they're starting to stack up on the ground. I forgot they do that. I was like, I'll just keep, I'll just keep taking the stuff until it tells me my inventory is full. And it's like, nope. That's not the way this game works. So let me show you what I got going on over here. The bedroom is going to be below the walk-in closet. The walk-in closet is going to be above the bedroom. Should be pretty cool. You know, it's not going to be as big as I wanted it to be, unfortunately. But we'll see what we can do. Um, I also specced into these floor lamps. I might not get these done today. Um, to be honest, I just put the floor lamps there as like a little marker. Uh, because I, I needed something in the corner. And I thought a floor lamp would be really good. So that's what I got going on. Let's go ahead and dump that, that, that. And I still can't move. Please tell me I have some sticks down here. All right, well, let, oh, <laughs> I also have all the windows where they need to be. So that's great. I'm going to finish this floor. Finish a bunch of walls so I can move around. That does have all the planks in it. It does. Finish that, that, that. Okay, beautiful. The reason I didn't put a wall in here is because I didn't want to do it without the... Uh, without the floor being done. And sometimes if you don't finish the floor, by the time you do a wall, I could like kind of make things out of line. So I wanted to make sure that was done beforehand. Oops. There we go. And we should have some sticks in here, I believe. Nope. Oh boy, I gotta go find some sticks. I was looking around for my sticks going absolutely out of my mind. I was like, there's no way I have to go get more sticks, man. I, I came back with a lot of sticks. And I did, and I found them. So, whew. Kind of got me a little heated there, though. I'm all like, WTF, bro. Hell are my sticks? And let's come on up here and finish that. I can finish that later. I do want to put some kind of things up there, but that's not really that big of a deal. What I'm going to do now is... Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do now... Do I want to... Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to... Well, maybe we'll see. I'm thinking about putting the... Uh, the light in this corner. Just like, uh, like that. And then we take this and snaps in there, snaps in there. Uh, I guess that's not going to be a window. I was going to make that a window. I mean, it doesn't really make sense to have a window in a, uh, <laughs> in a, you know, a walk-in closet, I guess. But if you could put a window there, why not? Right. But yeah, it's not going to work out. That's okay. I am okay with that. I just got to kind of, there we go. Right, I'll have the planks for that. That's fine. 
Now we've got two, four, six. I'm going to put as many in here as I can, but now the snapping into place is not going to help. I'm going to have to try and line stuff up. And this is where the pain is going to come in. And you will see a very, very small bit of the pain. Um, well, I could put it right there. And yep, that's the last one I could put down like that. So now I got to press G and try and line these up. This is why this game needs a first person option because I can't see to line these up properly because there's no first person option. What I got to do is I got to get these as close as possible and as close to the wall. You know what? I'm not going to be able to fit two more in here. There's no way. Yep, yeah, I'm not going to be able to fit two more in here, so I guess it's irrelevant. We can just put one right in the middle. As close to the wall and in, in the middle as possible. You know what? That's all right. That's all right. If they're right next to each other and they're not lined up, it's painfully obvious and it bothers me. If they're not right next to each other, you know, and they're not lined up, as long as they're lined up enough, um, I'll be okay with that. So I will do this on both sides and we will have our closet um, almost done. I may have underestimated how grindy this base was going to be to finish. Um, there's a good chance I will not finish the walk-in closet today. Uh, but that's okay. It wasn't like the thing that I absolutely need to do today. What I need to do today is I need to get the shell of the base complete. All right. That, that's what I want to do more than anything. And that's what I'm going to do. And by the shell, I mean the outside parts, you know, and uh, we will get back to that, that walk-in closet at some point. Um, the cool thing is we've got it like set up. Like we know what we're going to do with it. Honestly, figuring out what to do with stuff is like most of the battle. <laughs> you know what I mean? But man, we just need so many boards. And I, I'd like to go go maybe to town and do some light looting today as well. Because, you know, these building videos, they're fun. But like, I get a little cooped up, you know? And I'm just like, ugh. I just want to go do some looting now. I mean, almost all the logs, the logs are gone. Like, I can't believe how grindy this was. Now, I could take apart some of these chests and get the get planks for them. Hmm, maybe. I'll think about that. See how I feel about that. I don't know. I, I like them as drop chests, but I, I obviously don't need as many as I have down. These down. Pick these up. Pick, ugh, that out of the way. That's what I wanted to do. So, you know, anything that comes in is just going to, like, they're going to be out of line. And that bothers me. <laughs> Maybe it shouldn't, but it does. There we go. Okay. And then you guys get in there. Throw a little bit more in there. And let's go use these up. See how we're going to go. By the way, I have, I have started recanning stuff. Um, and also, I did pick some uh, some wheat. And was wheat always 10 freshness? I don't, I don't know. See, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I want to keep the canned food. I don't want to let it go bad because it's protein. But I don't know of a... I would like to get a carbohydrated meal that I could put in a can that does not require meat. Uh, is there a carbohydrate meal I can get with just stuff grown out of the garden and then canned up? I don't think there is. I honestly don't think there is. So I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to like, you know, make eating as, as streamlined as possible. So I'm not taking a lot of time with it and I can do more, you know, more important things. I know what I could do today. Um, basically, I'm going to make the fridge. And the fridge, actually, I think will come in pretty handy. Because if I don't want to go out and kill animals, and I'm just going to I'm just gonna use all the canned meat. I've got so much protein in that canned meat, guys. It's not even funny. Um, so I really don't want to kill animals. It just doesn't seem like a, a good use of my time. So in order to get stuff out of the garden that's going to last for 15 days for it to regrow, maybe the refrigerator is the way to go. Um, hell, let's just do it, man. Let's just do it. Actually, before we do the refrigerator... We're gonna move the bed up here. And actually, you know what? Let's just clear out the kitchen. Let's clear out the kitchen. Can I hold all this stuff? I should be able to. All right. And I don't think there's anything in here. I think if there's anything in there, it would just fall anyway. Break that up. Break that up. Break this up. Let's get this stuff upstairs. Oh, I'm getting overweight. Okay. Let me uh, let me move everything upstairs into the bedroom. Now, the bedroom is not going to be, like, completely planned out. I'm just going to, like... I mean, I will plan it out eventually, but not today. 
Um, so I'm going to, I, okay. I know where the bed's going to go. So I will put the bed in its proper place, but everything other than the bed, um, you know, will not be, should I put up two beds? I don't like where it snaps into place. It's not too bad of a spot, but can I, um, nope, it's not going to work. Okay. Uh, like right in between. Sure. Good to me. All right, there's the bed. And I'm going to, I probably won't set anything else up now. Nah, I probably should set stuff up up here because then that way I don't have to like put the stuff away and then find it later. Uh, that would just make sense. All right, where would we put our um, fireplace? Uh, that seems like a pretty good spot for it. I'd kind of like to snap into wherever it's going to be, but it doesn't look like it's going to work for me. Okay, fine. Uh, right here seems pretty good. You know what? I don't think I want it in front of a window. Didn't I destroy the fireplace? Do you not get everything back with it? For it? Is that? Did it say that? Let me go take a look. Maybe I didn't destroy it. I'm kind of hungry. I haven't, eaten, I haven't had lunch today, so I could be missing something. Let's go take a look. Oh, okay. I didn't destroy it. All right. Fair enough. I was going to say. Ugh, now I'm slow. Where would be a good spot for the refrigerator? I guess I'll just put it right here. I don't really see an obvious spot for it. So it does snap into place right there. Let's just drop what we can in it. Let's come over here. We didn't have anything on us, but that's okay. We're going to grab this. I do want this by the refrigerator. All right. And we will put, where is it? Is it in the workshop? I'm not seeing it. No, it's got to be in. No, it's got to be in the workshop. It doesn't. It's not being furniture. It doesn't do anything in furniture. I swear, my brain is way more efficient when I'm not recording. <laughs> I turn off the recording. I found it like pretty much right away. Wait, three. Oh, yeah. I probably didn't have enough room in my inventory for everything. Yeah, grab all that and roll to victory. And there we go. Cool. So we got that. Now we just got to make the refrigerator. And what do we get? Oh, goodness. We are going to need a ton of parts. I have a ton of planks on me, too. Let me put the planks away first. And then we're going to go get all those parts. And I don't really, like, have to remember. I could just, wherever I go, I could just look up the refrigerator and be like, okay. I wish you could pin recipes, man. That'd be really, that'd be really cool. All right. Any ingots. Five aluminum. And that's it. We also need glass. Five aluminum. And we're also going to need some glass. How much glass? Uh, five glass. Okay. That's reasonable. Split one. Five glass. I think most everything is downstairs. And I do have a condenser. I only have one condenser, but, you know, that's all you need. It'll be nice to get it out of this box, too. It's just taking up room, right? All right, so we're going to need 20 of this. So we don't have enough. We don't have enough advanced parts. That's okay. I've got a way to deal with that. We'll just make more. Uh, five electric uh, wire components, plastic rubber. Wire components, plastic rubber. Wire components, plastic. I know this is more than I need. I should have some rubber upstairs. I know this is more than I need. I'm not taking exactly what I need. I don't really care that much. I can just go drop stuff off later. Won't be a big deal. Rubber. Please tell me I have some rubber left. Mother. Oh. Well, the good news is I only need three rubber, and I've been meaning to go out and do some looting today anyway, so I guess it's not the end of the world. Uh, I, I'm not going past my town, though. If I don't have any rubber in my town, the it's going to have to wait for next time. So we'll just we'll just see what we got in here. All right, I am stirring up the hornet's nest here. Oh, boy. You got your weapon, please? Thank you. There you go. Get out of here! Jeez, what a couple of punk asses. There you go. Alright, you know what? You know what? I've had enough of this. There you go. Hey, you like me now. Come at me, bro. I could probably just go into my horde base, but nah. I'm gonna take care of this myself. 
Come on. Now I remember why I don't like meleeing in this game. Really? I hit that guy like three times right in the face. Die, you punk ass. Grab some stuff here. Guess I shouldn't have drove my vehicle into town. <laughs> oh well. We need some action, man. A lot of building. I love building, but sometimes you just gotta kill some Zambos, you know? Like this. That's how you do it. It's like a melee. It's just it's hard to melee those those really fast ones. We good now? Sheesh. You guys really got your panties in a bunch over my car. I love when they hit me even after they're dead. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's make sure everything's reloaded. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. I haven't looted a barn in a long time. I don't feel like I'm gonna find rubber in here though. So we'll probably go, I think we're going to go loot the garage of that one car, or the one uh, house. Cars don't have garages. Uh, let's see. Wow, did not expect to find that in here. Oh, <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm going back to get my cart. I'm not saying I'm definitely going to get rubber in this garage, but I think it's the best chance for me to get rubber, so... Let's just, uh, I'm gonna leave my thing right here. Kind of hop over this. Or maybe not. Thought I could hop over that. I'm kind of surprised I can't. Alright, well, it is what it is. We'll just go around. Fight a few more zombies if we go around, though. That's a problem. What's up? There you go. There goes your head. And you're next. Okay. So far, so good. I don't know if that guy's following me or not. Honestly, I really don't care. I don't think there's a, there was a zombie trying to break out of this door. Uh, yeah, let's let's kind of look in here. Maybe he's trying to break into the garage. There's a door right here. Oh, maybe not. I'm not sure where he's trying to break out. No. Okay, getting some lag, which has got me nervous. This town can, is known to have a lot of zombies in it. And you guys can't see, so let me do this. There you go. Oh, come on. All right, we good or what? The heck's going on? He finally... Oh, he's... Oh, he's upstairs. Okay. All right, come on, bro. Let's do this. Dance with me. That's what you get, punk ass. Any of your friends want to join? Uh, apparently they do. You're done. You're next. That's what I'm talking about. Can I do some looting, please? Yeah, I'm gonna do some looting. Alright, come on, rubber. I just need three rubber. How could there not be rubber in here, right? Alright, ammo's pretty good, too. Uh, okay. You know what? If we don't get it today... I'll get it next episode. It's not the end of the world. I just, I was hoping to use that refrigerator today. Now, like, cause I'm, I'm wondering, like what I want to know about the refrigerator is when you put stuff in there, does the, does the, the freshness thing. Ooh, that's nice. Does the freshness timer turn like automatically, like right away. Okay. I keep thinking I'm hearing zombies, but that might be me moving around. And in here. Come on. Just 
starting to want, think there might be. I mean, I know where I can go get rubber pretty quickly. Ah, I'd have to like drive around though. I, I really don't want to like just hop into a POI just to get a few pieces of rubber. I hate doing that, but it's either that or you know what? I think I'm not going to get the refrigerator today then. I'll just, uh, you know, maybe we'll hit our tier, our S tier POI next episode. Guaranteed to walk out of there with a ton of rubber. I could also get rubber with oil. I might be able to just loot enough oil to get rubber. That wouldn't be too hard. I could just, what I could do is I could just pop in down here, grab the oil off the ground, and then just get the heck out of there. I could also run the oil wells, but I prefer not to do that because, um, that would be a little bit more involved than I wanted to get into. All right, let's look in here. I mean, I am getting good stuff. It's just, you know, not what, exactly what I'm looking for. Take out my shotgun in case I need it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to find any in here. I was thinking that garage or this room would be my chance, but... All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go to my base, drop everything off, come down here, grab some of the oil in front of there, and just turn it into rubber. Because I kind of want that refrigerator today. I have been having a hard time with this rubber. I was going to grab oil and turn it into rubber. But the, the oil that's on the ground over here, it's only like one piece at a time. Now, I could have like grabbed all my stuff, made a battery bank or whatever. But I decided to come over here. If I walk out, if I don't get any rubber in here, then I don't know what the heck. So we're just going to... Oh, is it not respawned yet? Have I actually been here that, that recently? Oh, man. I can't catch a break today. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it hasn't respawned, but I'm going to continue looking for rubber anyway. Maybe, just maybe I missed something. Oh my goodness. This stinks. All right, I know where there's rubber. Because <laughs> I know I haven't looted over here in a long time. Oh my god, more food. I'm not going to say no to food. There really should be some, pla like, not, not plastic, there really should be some rubber around here. I think usually I find it on the floor. All right, let's keep looking. There's one rubber. And I'm about to be encumbered as well, but that's okay. I think I see some more rubber on the ground. Gotta take care of this. Get out of here. Die already. Um, oh, a steel hammer. I'll take that. Oh, it was a pistol. Darn it. Thought it was rubber. The search continues. I can't... This place is really empty, man. I'm pretty sure I've not been in this spot for more than 20 days. I don't know. Maybe I came and looted over here and forgot about it. I don't I don't think I did. But I guess it's not out of the realm of possibility. I don't think you can get rubber in these, like, bookcases. And, you know, I don't really need more stuff to sell. I'm, like, really, really loaded down with stuff. So I gotta, what I got to do is get back to the traders. Man, I'm so freaking ripped. It's like looking in a mirror. Uh, well, it got pretty hot, so I take off my, uh, my jacket, or my, it wasn't a jacket, it was a, um, military jacket. Well, I guess it was a jacket. Anyway, I had to take it off because I was starting to get hot. Now, three separate times I said I knew where I was going to get rubber, and three separate times I failed in my book. Three strikes, and you're out. I think I'm done for today. We are not going to get the rubber today. What I'm going to do is, next episode... I know I could have just caught, got up here and got the rubber, but I want that to be a full looting episode. That is by far my favorite looting spot in the game. So we're going to go up there. I'm pretty sure it's been more than 20 days. If it hasn't, then, you know, we'll see We'll see what's what. But I'm pretty sure it's been more than 20 days, so it shouldn't, shouldn't be too much of a problem. And we will definitely come back with some rubber, and we will mess around with the refrigerator tomorrow. If you guys ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, take it easy.